The primary goal of this class is to explore and perform jazz music uh, from a variety of different time periods and genres. We'll be working both as a big band and as a jazz combo, learning smaller, uh, more intimate tunes. The big difference that separates jazz band from concert band is the fact that some of our music will be learned entirely by ear. So I will uh, dictate the notes to you, upload recordings onto Google Classroom for you to listen to and learn how to play. Uh, and it's also open to a variety of extra in instrumentation that is not uh, typically offered in concert band, being guitar, bass, drums, uh, keyboards, and vocals. So if you play any of those instruments, you're more than welcome to play an off instrument in jazz band as well. Um, and with that, there's also two performance opportunities. So we have a semester one year end concert and a semester two year end concert. The final thing I'd like to mention about jazz studies is that it's an early bird class that runs opposite Concert Band 2030, meaning that it runs from 7.45 to 8.45 every other day. Garage Band 10 is open for any students that play basically whatever instrument you want, provided that you have that instrument at home to practice on. Uh, the main goal of the class is that we learn how music works, how to perform music, how to put together a set, and also how to record music. Students will choose their instruments that they want to be assessed on throughout the year. And this is open to any sort of instrumentation, but the primary ones are the instruments that you'd see in a rock band. So guitar, bass, drums, vocals, ukulele. Uh, we have banjo, we can do harmonica, pretty much whatever you want, uh, as long as it fits within the genre that you're playing in. The class itself will put together a set of music that you will be performing at the end of the semester in front of a live audience. In addition to that, we will also be spending an extended period of time with recording software, uh, specifically Pro Tools, which is the sort of music industry standard for music recording. And so everybody will get an opportunity to use the program, record themselves playing, and then produce a fully finished uh, cover track that they can then send to their friends and family. The main outcome of this class is obviously that we are going to be developing your voice, your range, your ability to uh, write and create harmonies, and to create arrangements of songs that you listen to uh, in your personal lives. Depending on enrollment in choral class, the choral class might be combined with the garage band class, meaning that the vocalists that enter into the choral class will be involved in the garage band class, uh, have the same units and ex uh, assessments, as the garage band class, but uh, with choral specific outcomes. So they're gonna be primarily uh, assessed based on their voice. When we're um, recording our track, they're gonna be obviously doing the vocal track. They might create a harmony track for it uh, so that they are developing their voice, but within the context of the garage band class. This is a brand new course to LCHS and the essential idea of the course is for students who have no idea how to play guitar to learn how to read music, uh, be able to play with both their fingers and a guitar pick, strum patterns, different chords, how to uh, transcribe songs by ear, so how do I listen to a song and then figure out how to play it on the guitar. And then being able to see it through to have a small performance towards the end of the semester. Um, students are not required to know how to play guitar before signing up to this class. The Concert Band 10 is uh, every other day and it alternates back to back with a science class that runs all year long. Meaning that your first semester you won't have a final in either science or concert band, but at the end of June we will have our final band concert and then you will also have your science final. It's an in-schedule class and it has the same outcomes that you would typically expect from a concert band. So the general idea is that we learn how to play uh, a piece of music as an ensemble and then perform it for an audience at the end of the semester. Generally, we pick about 10 to 15 minutes of music per semester, and the difficulty is based on instrumentation and uh, the level of experience that our ensemble has. The Concert Band 2030 will have slightly more complicated music. The other difference between Concert Band 2030 is that it's an early bird class, meaning that it runs from 7.45 to 8.45 every other day, which can be an advantage for some students because that means they're able to take a spare within their regular course schedule. So if you sign up for a concert band, there's a very good chance that you can either take an extra class um, or have a spare for you to catch up on other homework or do whatever else you'd like.